Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going back to Monster Hunter Wild with the Intel Arc GPU. If you saw my last video, Capcom actually changed the proposed minimum requirement, but they still didn't add any Arc GPU. The game does support XCSS and was when it was the beta, so is there any improvement from the release version? We're going to find out and comparing our old results. Welcome to Response PC, I'm Dunk, let's game on. We're going to test on my original setup, the i5-12600K, 32GB of RAM and starting off with the A310. This time I won't go as low as 720p, I stay at 1080p. And for the A310, it will obviously be at the lowest setting possible and XCSS Ultra Performance. And that does not look good. We get an average of 17 FPS, which I guess it's an improvement to the 720p 20 FPS. It is unplayable, regardless of the setting you choose. Even frame gen can save the A310. The GPU is pegged at 99%, using 5.8 GB of video. RAM out of 4, so we go dive in the system memory to be able to compensate. The CPU is in the mid 30s, so that's perfect, but we're using 27 GB of RAM out of 32 to have this kind of uh, Vaseline quality. Next in the lineup is the A380. This is now a 6 GB VRAM card but won't make any difference here. At 1080p, the lowest settings and XCSS Ultra performance, we have 22 FPS, which is actually lower than the beta. When we test, I have the 26 FPS. If you enable FSR with frame gen, we get a nice little 33 FPS average. So you will need to be okay to play at the lowest settings to have FSR and frame gen enabled to have a meager 30 FPS. For me, that is a fail. Should be a pass, but with all the game looking that much Vaseline, that's uh, that's too much. Jumping to my uh, favorite GPU of 2024, the Arc A580. This little 8 GB VRAM card had a little bit of a hard time still to play this game. In the better at 1080p medium settings and XCSS balance, we were hitting 38 FPS. Now XCSS balance at low settings, we hitting 29 FPS. So we now have the A380 and the A580 who drop FPS with the release version of a Monster Hunter. If you want a decent FPS and a decent image quality, you need to enable again FSR with frame generation. Then you'll get a nice 54 FPS. But if you're not into a frame gen, too bad for you. You'll have to choose between Vaseline view or frame gen. Like in politics, you try to choose the less worse that you think is best for you. So I'll say the A580 will be your minimum ARC GPU to play this game. Because the GPU is back at 99% using 7.2 gigabyte of VRAM out of 8, CPU is ok and we're using 16.5 gigabyte of RAM. So we don't have a lot of overhead, but I guess playable. Now the A750, this was a bit deceiving as the result is similar to the beta. So the beta was 34 FPS at high settings with the XCSS balance. Now high settings with XCSS balance, we get 31 FPS. You have to enable FSR with the frame gen to get 55 FPS. Our result are so close to the A580 by 1 to 2 FPS. And jumping to the A770 doesn't do much compared to the beta. We have a similar result as the beta. So almost the entire Alchemist series of uh, Intel RGPU don't do well and didn't really improve with the release of uh, Monster Hunter Wild uh, version 1. In the beta, the A770 was doing 35 FPS with XCSS balance. Now with high settings instead of ultra XCSS balance, I get 31 FPS. It got worse. And if you enable FSR to use a frame gen, we get a, a nice playable 43 FPS. Surely you can probably drop to medium to be a bit more stable if you don't want frame gen. But there was no improvement at all for Alchemist, and in some case, it was even worse. I tested with XCSS, but just so you guys know, FSR gave a better FPS than XCSS from Intel. Not by much, around 10% better with FSR than XCSS, but it's still there, the more you know. And finally, the part that they won't, everyone was waiting for, the B 570. I'm still at 1080p, but I'm at high settings, XASS balance, and I get a nice 48 FPS. No need to frame gen, the game is 
playing perfectly and way better than the beta. At the beta we were at 30 FPS for medium settings and XCSS balance. The Battle Mage series of Arc GPU actually improved with the release of 1.0 of Monster Hunter Wild. You can even drop the settings to medium and not having the game to look like a Vaseline. It seems the GPU is perfect for this game. We're using 99% of its position at 9.1 GB of VRAM out of 10. The CPU is still okay and we're using 25.2 GB of RAM though. So you'll need at least 32 GB of RAM. The perfect card to play 1080p high settings or medium settings if you want more than 40, 50 FPS. And finally, the B580. In the beta, we were reaching 36 FPS at medium settings with XCSS balance. Now we can push that to high settings with XCSS native and get an average of 41 FPS. GPU usage is at 99 using 10.7 GB of VRAM. CPU is still in the high 30s percentage of position, which is perfect, and we're using 16.6 GB of RAM. I didn't try, but you probably can play at 1440p, maybe at the medium settings and FSR balance, but you can play. There was actually an improvement for the Battle Mage GPU with the release of V.1 of uh, the game. What did we learn about uh, the Hulk GPU today? The Arc Alchemist uh, get worse with the release of uh, the, that game compared for the beta, and the Battle Mage actually improve at the release of this game. If you own the Arc GPU, tell me in the comment uh, which one you have with the spec of your PC, and are you playing Monster Hunter Wild with your Arc GPU? Thanks for watching, see you in the next one, and subscribe.